guys, we are back. Oh, I have not plugged in my mic. Hang on a second. Okay, got my mic plugged in. Sorry about that. All right. So what I've done is I actually put in two signatures. So this is just regular coffee dyed paper. And I've got a notebook here that's just glued in. And this one is made out of um, um, just cream colored presentation paper. And I've got a, the slotted pocket with a journaling card and some tags. Journaling tags. And I sewed around it in black. And that is all I've done. I need to make a journaling card for here. This is actually going to my nephew, so. Um, but what I've got these die cuts here, which are Tim Holtz. Because I didn't have too much ephemera, but I'm going to put those on. There. And I made this little specimen card. Out of a coin holder. And I've got to figure out how in the world I'm, what I'm going to do for the closure on here. Because I don't just want to do a bow or material, uh, you know, uh, lace or anything. I want to do some type of closure for it. <clears throat> and this has uh, this was just done on white cardstock that I sprayed with uh, black soot dis distress spray or spray stain or whatever it's called. Not the oxide, just the regular distressing spray. I'm going to have to put that on a piece of cardstock. Or. Put it on a piece of white cardstock. No problem. I hope everyone is doing good today. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I decided to give this to my nephew. When I say nephew, I'm me and Thomas. He's actually my second cousin, but he's always called me Aunt Titi. For those of you who know, um, he's autistic. So, um, Pretty much all he knows is that we're family and that, you know, but his mom and I are close like sisters, even though we're cousins. Um, so, um, I'm actually six years older than his mom, um, but we have always been close. We grew up together. He, she was, of course, my uncle's daughter and my mom's baby brother. And, um, he passed away five years ago, 
and uh, so but we've remained close all this time um, her dad was kind of like a dad to me and my brother growing up and you know one of my mom's best friends even though that was her baby brother Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna round the corners on this it just makes it a little easier to get in and out of the uh, in and out of the thingy. Okay. So that should go in there just fine. But I think I might actually attach the uh, the uh, specimen card. it. Oh, oh, I have to cut it down a little bit. Not a problem. Forgot about, you know, taking account for actually gluing in the pockets. Okay. There we go. Don't know what I'm gonna do on this part yet. I don't know if I want to add another pocket, or maybe I'll do a circular tuck of some kind. Hmm. I don't know. Or do I want to do a? I don't know. I could do a small belly band. Ooh, speaking of belly bands. Let's see. Do I have another dude? All my guys are sitting down. Do I got any bigger dudes? That's the question. I have a ton of people. This is like three three different packages of people. But I don't kind of didn't want any of the ladies. I wanted more of the guys if I could get them since it's from a nephew. I don't think he'd care though. Honestly. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Put that on as a tuck spot. Right there. Put him on as a belly band. There we go. I think that's what I'll do. I'm going to use my fabric tag for that.
Probably should wait for that to dry. Just put that on it. Okay. And I've got these um, birds that's also. And I've got these leaves. And I just put that on as decoration. Okay. Now this one is more utilitarian than, um, you know, beautiful or anything. Because I didn't do the, you know, cascading pockets or anything like that. I didn't figure he'd want anything that interactive if he's just going to use it to write in. Which is what he's going to use it for. He's going to use it for school, actually. Uh, he's homeschooled, so um, he has to do work and stuff in the summertime also. So. So there we have it. So we have tuck spots, a pocket, a notebook, and a journal, a pocket with journaling tags and cards, another notebook. Okay, that's the back, and then I think maybe we could do a pocket or something here. And I've got these, um, these middle tags that these, uh, stickers go in. You can put the stickers in. They're Tim Holtz. And they've got these little doodads that just go in there. And I might use that as part of the closure or put it on the front somehow or whatnot. Okay, so I've got a couple more leaves left that I may put onto the page and then add a pocket here. Do, uh, not much contrast to those. Okay. Never fails. Why do you ever always drop things face down onto your work? <laughs> oh well. It's all good. That's what a Timmy towel is for. 
Okay, now I've got a couple of bits and bobs here that I can use as pockets. Mm, I do like that one. I like the color of those. And these were just what's left over of the paper that I had. Of the Timmy paper that I had. Um, mostly pictures. But that's, ooh, I like that one too. Be more like a tuck spot now. Ooh, but I like the numbers. I think I'll use that one. <clears throat> now, do I want to put it in as a pocket? I think I do. that will one of these fit in there no that's upside down anyway kind of cool looking you can journal on that all right awesome now uh -huh. there we go And I really should cover up those spines. Why? Uh huh. I bet that's not wanting to close properly now because of that. If I could put that on by a brad and then close it that way, I bet you I could. But I'm gonna have to go in with my big. Oh, yeah, that holds that down too. I'm gonna have to go in with my big bite. little home. Let me see. Gold bread here. That won't fit into the holes. Okay. I've got some of these. Do I have any with a T on it? Is that A? Two A's, a B. An I. An F. I'd even take an H. And that's a girly looking one. I don't want a girly looking one. An O. An M. Which would be perfect for his mom, because her name is Miranda, but I'm not making it for her. Well, shucks. Um. 
We got a stripey one. So it's red. It's the same colors as what's in the thingy. Now, since that's actually going to turn, I don't think I want to. Oh, and it doesn't work because it's not tight enough. Well, maybe it is. Nope, it's too heavy. Well, dang. Yeah, it was a thought. But, I'll just leave it on there and then just wash it, take the back of that. And I've got some Timmy washer tape. last roll of the Timmy washi tape that I have. There we go. It's a shame that won't fit. Yeah. It's a shame that just pulls it right off. Okay. Well, still got one of those on there anyway okay so it looks like okay, I'm gonna have to make a tag for that pocket oh no I'm not because I got that on there okay so what am I gonna use to close it with because that idea did not pan out and I don't have any of those spinner things or anything. Okie dokie. I'll just do that. horrible. Nope. 
and don't like that either. Ta-da! There we go. Made it work. Alright guys, so there it is. One finished folio, Tim Holtz style. And I will see you guys back here really soon because we're going to make a collage master board for the first time ever so that we can do some uh, journal cards and tags. So I will see you guys back here really soon. Bye!